October 18th, 2018. Well, I showed a few sweet potatoes that I harvested last night, but uh, I wanted to show some of the bigger ones. There were some honkers in here. I was uh, pleasantly surprised. This is the whole harvest. This is off of, uh, I planted 12 starts. I think only four or five of them survived because we had some drought early in the season. Um, but so these are the two biggest and they're pretty good size. I'm pretty uh, pretty stoked about it. So uh, overall, it was a pretty good harvest and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I just wanted to share that part of it to finalize the sweet potato harvest and then uh, we're going to go into some other potato stuff here at the greenhouse. I had uh, a planter of potatoes, which I'll show you in a minute, that I had started back in the greenhouse last season and then I put them back outside and the Colorado potato bugs desecrated the leaves on them but I just left the potatoes that were there, they were kind of small so I let them re-sprout and they grew back and they grew out late season and now there are some nice sized potatoes so I'll show you those and then we'll, uh, we'll do some potato transplanting here all right, so I've brought the uh, regular potatoes out here. Uh, these were in this pot last winter uh, in a kind of a low light area. Um, I just kind of nursed them along. They were little tiny baby potatoes. I figured I'd throw them in and see what they did. Uh, they grew a little bit bigger and then uh, we had a Colorado potato bug infestation that ate all the leaves off them. And then those little starts uh, kind of went dormant for a while and then they came back late season and then I fed them a few times late season uh, with some advancing eco-agriculture products and uh, they kind of really took off and I was very happy about that and then so tonight I was looking for a place to put some of these cuts that I took of sweet potato of which there are many 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 too many probably for this greenhouse at least if I want room for anything else um, Anyway, I was looking for a spot for those, and I was looking at this pot and eyeing it and leering at it about putting sweet potatoes in here. So I think what I'm going to do is harvest these big potatoes out, these white potatoes, and I probably will save the potato vines and put them back in, and I probably will add some sweet potato vines in here, and uh, we'll let them duke it out and see how many tubers we can grow in here. Um, I'm hoping to have a little bit better lighting and controls in here this winter now that the Raspberry Pi upgrades are complete for the most part and I have a new thermal mass tank coming. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and harvest these potatoes out and uh, I guess I'll show you the potato vine and root real quick uh, for those of you who haven't seen one up close and show you how I'm repropagating those and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and plant uh, sweet potatoes in so I'll uh, I'll try and do a couple different video clips at different phases. Okay, well that only took a couple seconds. <laughs> I'm not done yet, but I uh, I just thought I would point out that uh, one of the nice things about potatoes in pots in a loose, real easy to move soil like this is you can go along you can actually find the tuber and just disconnect the tuber from the plant without a lot of trouble and without a lot of damage to the root system. So you could feasibly keep working potatoes this way and harvesting the bigger ones off until the vines gave up on you. Um, anyway, uh, I also wanted to point out that I did throw some uh, German white garlic umbrals in here last year. Um, and they sprouted and they kind of like got dried out over the summer a bit and then now they're taken off. And so we have little baby garlic plants growing here, which I may transplant or just leave in here as well probably just will leave them in anyway just thought I would point those things out okay so that's all we got out that was of any reasonable size there were a couple of small uh, all blues in there but I'm just gonna leave them for now on the plant because they're not even worth pulling um, and then this other one was probably the, uh, one of the seed potatoes that's the Kennebec plant now these are Kennebecs here these are a really nice tomato they're good for mashing and baking uh, they cook fairly fast, they grow fairly large, they're fairly disease and pest resistant, and they do really excellent here in the soil. These were one of the better growing potatoes this year before the potato bugs took me out. Alright, uh, so I just sorted through here by hand, kind of scooped under the plants and the soil. Um, I'm not even going to really pull these out. 
but if you had to pull these out you could pull them out and you'll see that there's root hairs on them and you can just basically put them in they're a vine and cover those root hairs in the bottom part of the plant and you can get it to, to root up some more but I'm just going to take some sweet potato plants yeah see there's a small baby all blue there you go that's a perfect uh, clone size potato um, so I'm going to take some of the sweet potato vines and add to this. I'm going to leave the garlic here in the middle and let that just grow in with everything. And we're going to give this a real good feed and uh, carry on and see what they do. And I'm going to have to find a whole bunch more space for these sweet potato uh, starts because uh, I'm pretty excited about sweet potatoes at this point. And I'm going to play around with the uh, winter season growing on them. Uh, I understand the leaves can also be eaten kind of like a spinach if you steam them. So might make for an interesting green harvest from the greenhouse since the grind the vines grow so prolifically all right hang on now I'm gonna throw some of those in here and uh, I'll give you another shot so just a quick shot to show you some of these plants actually have growing sweet potatoes on them like I showed in the other video and I'm just putting those sweet potatoes down nice and deep in the soil and I'm setting as much of the, root, the vines root in as I can and then recovering it with soil. I hope you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Okay. And then uh, the vines uh, have some other roots on them. They could be clip clipped down, but I probably will try and wrap them and get some more soil on top of this and let this whole thing take off once I get a few more uh, set points in here. Okay, I've brought a scoop of soil in here on top of all those that were starting to pop roots out. And I'm going to give them a good watering. And then we're just going to let them root up and kind of recover. Uh, it's going to be a week or so before they really pick up, I think. I also will give them uh, probably a foliar drench, maybe of some sea shield and some sea stem. And stimulate good root growth again. Um, Alright, I have another planter over there. Which I'm going to put some in. And... Uh, Maybe I'll show you that when I'm done too. All right, there we go. There's the next planter, so to speak, full. Uh, I assure you, I planted way too many in here. <laughs> we'll see what we do. We'll see what they do and what happens. Good experiment to do. And uh, I certainly like sweet potatoes, so extra sweet potatoes, not a problem. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for now. Uh, yeah. Just wanted to share the mostly the sweet potato harvest and uh, a little bit of transplanting and propagation. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you found it informative in some form or fashion. I uh, hope you'll like and subscribe. And thank you to my subscribers and viewers for uh, watching and subscribing and supporting the channel. Uh, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.